to bring in a pharmacist at this time for more on uh, the pandemic and uh, the work on getting a vaccine. It's Jimmy Agbaje joins us uh, from Lagos at this time. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. And the search for a COVID-19 vaccine. Pharmacists are under great pressure and uh, there is a miracle. In less than a year, we have more than one vaccine with varying degrees of efficiency. Uh, how do you describe this? Well, just like you said, um, it's like a miracle we've had. Uh, normally, these vaccines take years, about eight years plus, to develop uh, so that um, we've been able to get it under one year. I think is uh, nothing short of a miracle. But I think it's got to do with the pressure. I mean, um, we had a pandemic last, this kind of pandemic, um, 100 years ago. And don't forget that technology has improved, uh, determination, there's collaboration between you know, countries, you know, and all that. And so that has helped in, oh. um, in getting about the vaccines. All right, now let's bring this home to Nigeria. What are pharmacists and pharmacies, pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria doing to support this call and uh, for vaccine production here in the country? Well, you see, we have to understand the politics of vaccines um, in the first place. Uh, for, for this part of the world, Nigeria being one of them, you find that you vaccination, immunization uh, programs are normally done with government. So there must be a partnership with government. So it's not something that you just on your own privately begin to produce. You also have to take it from the backdrop that um, generally, even in the developed countries, uh, vaccine production had reduced considerably because the developed countries didn't really need a lot of the vaccines that we needed in this part of the world. So it's thanks to the likes of um, uh, Bill Gates, Bill and Melinda Foundation, uh, working with WHO that came about with bringing back vaccines production uh, in the third world. And that's why we're able to fight polio and all those preventable diseases. Um, with regards to Nigeria in particular, uh, we used to produce vaccines uh, on a limited scale, but that uh, collapsed uh, like many other things in the past. But I know that recently, Government, again, in partnership with one of the major pharmaceutical com com companies in Nigeria, uh, is working on bringing about uh, vaccine production again. Um, and so that's really where we are. Um, right. it's not, vaccine is not something you just produce anyhow. You work with government or else um, it's not going to fly. All right. Uh, Jimmy Agbaje, pharmacist, thank you for joining us at this time and Happy New Year to you. Same to you. Thank you very much.